Good afternoon, this is Sharon from Everything Beautiful. I am making a little drink, a little valance, and this is actually a stock trouble. So a stock trouble is when you pleat it on top of each other, and this is what we have here. So um, I'm just going to show you how to pleat it. So you'll make two of this, and um, the other one is around the machine, so I'm going to show you what I do there but let me show you how to pleat this okay so I actually had um, formed the pleats even before I had um, put the line in there and you don't have to line this you can leave it as is and put on your tassel or your fringe at the end here and you must have seen me done it before but the one that i did before was um oh yeah i did another one yeah but this is kind of different uh this is, could actually be two like that so you would have one of that and one of that okay so it's like doing putting two together to make one full one okay and this is a little bit different as i said that if this goes when you put your swag up and you probably have any little imperfection imperfection there i'm sorry or you just want to use it you know because it does enhance the look of the swag you know the curtain that you're putting up so um that's why i'm showing you how to do it so that is how you pleat it okay it is lined and i put this up there the, the, the tassel at the end I'm shuffling seems like I'm tired okay so that is one pleat and this is the other one so you're going to take this one and place on this one and these are like mainly for the beginners you know they're very curious they're um, excited to learn and sometimes they just don't know how so um, a lot of these videos that I do you know, I really like to explain to break it down because there are people out there who can sew, but they do not understand how to cut. They do not understand the formulas that are being used to make drapes or whatever clothes or whatever their their desire is. And then there are those who can do that, but they are not good good at sewing them. You know, so that's why i kind of give some demonstration and you know try to break it down simplify it as much as possible for the person who might have a little challenge in learning when i was at school i remember people or students who came to to my class were those who they wanted to go to other institutions that would give them a certificate that would most likely would take them anywhere but you know what happened they get a lot of theory there and they wanted help with the practical because some of them had left school quite a while were not good at maths and everything like that and i would have to really 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 break it down for them so um that's the same thing i want to do here you know i want to simplify as much as possible just give the um give the the, the beginners especially the um the basic information you know <laughs> not everything is set in stone because even with this you don't need a specific measurement because right now this one is very small because when i make them i'm not even using them i just throw them down you know i don't have any use for them so that's why even today i'm making a miniature you know and some parts of it will not even be stitched because it's just a video to show you how you can make a simple and easy um, in the treatment so let me finish so here is the center you're going to and if you notice I'd already crease my pleat so that you can do even before you put the line in as I said and then there's another one here a lot of mark there so you're going to take it and place it here and try to ensure that here lines up nicely and also here try to ensure that here lines up nicely and also there I like to press mine not everybody does you know sometimes I like to just see them very neat but you don't have to do all of that you know um, if you don't want to you know then I'm going to stitch across here at the top 
I'm going to stitch across here to keep it together. So you will make two of this.